Good morning from Florida. This will be video number two of our 6x12 camper build. It is January 12th, 2020. We will have an 80 degree day today here in Florida. Let's start by talking about our philosophy of use. Our camper for us is meant to be for long weekends, getting more than a Monday or a Friday off is pretty much impossible for me and my girlfriend. We decided to build this to save us money in the long run. We spend a lot of time going to South Florida for our photography adventures and hotel rooms were bleeding us dry. So we decided to put together something where for a night or two we could sleep in relative comfort and not have to pay the hotel expenses. So let's start by going from right to left and we'll talk about some of the features of our little camper. At the back here we do have some outdoor lighting for when the hatch is open on either side and this is so we can set up our canopy behind the camper a screened canopy keep us away from the Florida mosquitoes we do have a lot of overhead storage which at some point may get doors put on it I'm not sure they work really well the way they are I don't believe I need to put doors on them it would probably just be for looks alone most all the wiring is run through the bottom section of this overhead we do have speakers in the back outlets switches for the lighting out back Our radio, our DVD player, and our 24 inch TV are all set up to run off 12 volts. Our 12 volts is pretty much battery power. We are set up with a 30 amp service through a marine style breaker box. And this breaker box pretty much just powers these outlets which runs power throughout the camper. We do also have 12 volts. And we also have a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter for when we do get our solar panel set up. So these three extension cords here that power the camper will be able to plug into either these outlets or the inverter depending on how we're set up for power on that given day. In the center here we have a microwave, refrigerator, and an AC unit. Off to the right we do have a propane monitor which from what I've read should be mounted between 12 and 24 inches from the floor. Propane is heavier than air and will settle to the floor. Just a note, a safety note. On the entryway we did put together a screen door which is a pocket style door that slides behind the appliances
We do have a hollow 2x3 wall here which I put some storage in for maps, books, magazines, shoes, whatever you need to squeeze in here. I didn't want to leave any inch of this camper unused. Into the forward bathroom we do have some storage to the left. An unfinished shower. Our composting toilet. And on this side of that wall will be a medicine cabinet. We do have a propane water heater, which is not hooked up yet. I haven't quite decided how to vent this to the outside. That'll be for a future video. The kitchen is set up with 12 volt power outlet with USB chargers. One of our speakers for the radio. Small spice rack with a coffee and sugar container. and a pull-out drawer for utensils that I got from Lowe's as a return for ten dollars that I told myself I had to somehow incorporate into this camper. So our water tank. The electrical is pretty much done on this camper, but the plumbing is not procrastinated. It's my least favorite thing to do. So we've been drinking bottled water and taking our dirty dishes home with us and using f facilities up to this point. Under these overheads is where all the electrical is run from my 110 power. I also have some USB outlets here, some LED lighting. So I've had some questions asked about seating and the honest answer is the bed boxes is about the only seating here in the camper. Whenever we're in the camper during the day or in the evening our seating will be to the left while we're watching TV or eating. You'll notice there's a split top on this bed box to the right. This is a lift table where we can put our drinks and our food while we're watching TV. Down below is a floor vent. I know that's hard to see, but this will always remain open for ventilation and it does draw a lot of cool air in the camper in the evenings when the fan is running. Over here, next to the sink, we did install a two-burner cooktop 
Right now it is just placed here. It is not plumbed or finished. I suppose the majority of our cooking will be done outside, but I did want some way to cook inside if it is raining. In Florida we'll have showers without notice. Alright guys and gals, this is video number two for our camper build. I'll try not to wait so long before my next video to discuss some more details about the build the electrical, the solar, and the plumbing. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.